Hey everyone, John here with not the best news. So if you're into the fighting game community or have been following it at all these past couple of days, you'll be aware that a large amount of individuals have been outed as sexual predators. There's been a lot of this going on in the Smash community, but it's much broader than this, including the president of EVO. Following this news, Capcom officially pulled out of EVO. Here's their statement. In light of the recent accusations of misconduct made against EVO organizer Joey Collar, Capcom will no longer be participating in EVO 2020. Out of respect to those who have been affected and to the current investigation, we felt this was the appropriate course of action. We apologize to the players and fans who are looking forward to these tournaments. It wasn't just Capcom though. Key players such as Sonic Fox refused to participate in this year's tournament. And either because they have no choice or they really feel they need to change, EVO issued the following statement. Over the past 24 hours, in response to serious allegations recently made public on Twitter, we have made the first of a series of important decisions regarding the future of our company. Effective immediately, Joey Quilar will no longer be involved with Evo in any capacity. We are currently working towards his complete separation from the company and have relieved him of all of his responsibilities. Going forward, Tony Cannon will act as CEO. In this position, he will take a leadership role in prioritizing greater accountability across Evo both internally and at our events. Progress doesn't happen overnight or without the bravery of those who speak up against misconduct and injustice. We are shocked and saddened by these events, but we are listening and committed to making every change that will be necessary in making EVO a better model for the stronger, safer culture we all seek. As a result, we will be cancelling EVO online and will work to issue refunds for all players who chose to purchase a badge. We will donate the equivalent of the proceeds as promised to Project Hope. So that's really it. Joey Quilar is no longer involved with EVO in any shape or form, and this year's EVO is entirely cancelled. The fighting game community has a lot of rebuilding to do, and hopefully they can build something a lot better. But let us know what you guys think about this in the comments below, and until next time, bye!